Okay, this episode is a little bit different. We're gonna sort of put two into one. The overall theme though is gonna be about how to reduce your unsubscribe rate and keep up your email list retention. So at the time of shooting the first little segment, Pardot had not yet released um, two-click unsubscribe. So we speak about building email preference and centers out and how that can help with your unsubscribe rate. That's still relevant, especially if you're operating across multiple countries that have um, different uh, languages within those countries because you can customize those email preference centers depending on uh, which language that email has been sent out in. We'll then cut and you'll see me again and we'll talk about an intro, um, how to configure a two-click unsubscribe page. Big game changer for pilot users, so I'm excited to get you through this. Cheers. Pilot Ninja. Hey everyone, today uh, we're talking about how to limit your um, amount of unsubscribes by using email preference centers as opposed to the unsubscribe button. Now, I do need to say right up the top that Pardot are releasing a two-click unsubscribe process to battle this um, issue in upcoming releases. I'm not sure when, um, but obviously don't make any purchasing decisions based off that information. Um, we just know that it is on the roadmap. In the meantime, uh, this is how you can um, limit your unsubscribes because there are more and more spam filters now um, that essentially go through the entire email and click every button to make sure that there's nothing nasty in there. So having a one-click unsubscribe means that all these spam filters are actually unsubscribing your uh, people from your database without them even knowing. So the way that we combat that is we actually create, as I said, an email preference center instead. Um, so you've probably seen this often um, where you go to unsubscribe or manage your email preferences. So this one, obviously you'd make it look a lot nicer. This is just for the sake of the demo. Um, essentially you'd take them here. Their email address would be there for confirmation. All the lists that, they're that they have available to them in terms of managing their subscriptions would be here so they can opt in or out or they can opt out of all email communications with this button and save their preferences. So as you can see there, there's essentially two clicks or if they wanted to play with their different lists, they could have multiple clicks, but worst case, two clicks and they're uns unsubscribed. So you're not gonna get any complaints, but what will happen is you're gonna have people unsubscribe, only the people that expressly want to unsubscribe will be unsubscribed from your lists. So the way to do that in your email, um, in your um, email templates that you're creating, whether you wanna say unsubscribe or pref pre uh, manage preferences or whatever it might be, completely up to you. Highlight the word, come into the link section and then choose email preference page and select the one that you want to be the, the page. And then, as I said, they will um, click through to the particular link. When it comes to actually creating the email preference pages under part of email preference page, you can go in and create one here. You will need a layout template. So you will need someone to code up a layout template or, or use the, the standard template there and, and sort of tweak it. That's completely up to you. And then what, what another, another thing to consider here is for customers that have either, um, you know, you might operate in multiple countries where you have um, different languages. So by doing it this way, um, you can have unsubscribe pages um, in different languages. And then um, you can also do it if you've got multiple brands um, within one part of account you could also consider it for that. The only thing to think about there is if you're gonna keep this link as an option in there, um, that they're gonna unsubscribe from all of your brand's communications. Otherwise, if you just keep the lists there, they can expressly choose which ones they wanna be part of. Awesome. So hopefully that's insightful for you. Hopefully that's been helpful. As always, feel free to reach out if you've got any questions. Cheers. Awesome. 
So you've seen that um, we can build custom email, email preference centers, and that's still really relevant, as I said at the top of this episode. But now we're gonna jump into configuring your two-click unsubscribe and how uh, that's gonna change your retention rates and your unsubscribe rates forever. Enjoy, cheers. Okay, everyone, a really quick update today. Uh, sometimes you might notice that we do update things that we that we post if we find a better way of doing it or if there's new releases. In this instance, we just wanted to firm up our video around um, email preference center so that uh, we can make sure that we're giving you options depending on what you want to set up. So email preference center is still good to use um, where you might have uh, different websites in different countries with different languages. So you can have an email preference center in, in particular languages. Also, Google does translate pages now. So you, you know, you may not, you may not need that. Um, so see how you go. But essentially the point of today is to talk about the two click unsubscribe feature that's been uh, put out in, in Pardot's recent release. Previously, uh, it was just a one-click unsubscribe, which meant now as more and more spam filters are put into um, businesses' email systems to, to protect them, the spam filters actually go through the emails and click every link. Every clickable link in the email gets clicked. And what was happening was a lot of people were getting unsubscribed without actually meaning to do it because the spam filter was doing it for them. Not great for either side. So uh, thankfully, Pardot has released a two-click unsubscribe function. So to turn it on, you go into Pardot email, you click on unsubscribe page, edit your unsubscribe page, and you just need to click, turn this on. And then um, inside of here, if you want to, you can customize your message. There are There is default at each point. And even on the on the uh, sorry the confirmation page, there is a default as well. We've left it as default and just gone in and styled the layout template. And the layout template in this instance works exactly the same way the layout templates work uh, for the email preference center. And you can see we've just tweaked our email preference center layout template um, to apply to this one because we're not going to be using our email preference center anymore. Then when it comes to using that in an email, it's exactly how we've shown you in the in the uh, email preference center video. Just in, instead of using the email preference center uh, click through link on the drop down, you are picking unsubscribe instead. As always, any questions? Let me know. Uh, otherwise, hopefully that was helpful for you. Cheers. Hey guys, thanks for watching that episode. We hope you got a lot of value out of it. Please don't forget to subscribe and engage with the content because a lot of it is driven by you guys, the user. So we need to know your feedback. Cheers.